Okay, so this is a little video to show how to take a data set, a matrix that's in a text format and import it into UCINet. I'll do it a couple of different ways. Um, I'll start by doing it the long way um, because I prefer that way. It's the way that I normally use. And then I'll show a shorter way. So uh, I see that uh, this file has some header information at the top, and then it's got the actual data matrix down below. And it looks like that first column on the left consists of ID codes. So let me just highlight all of this. And you see at the very bottom, there is another row, which looks like it's the node IDs again um, uh, for each column. So I'm going to grab that as well. Copy to the clipboard, control C. I'll start Excel. Create a new workbook. I will paste. Now, unfortunately, uh, since these were not tab delimited, it's put them all into one column. They're not actually in separate cells. But if you go down to that little thing there that says Control, and hit the down arrow, it tells, it gives you the option of using the text import wizard, which we can also find on the data tab of Excel. And uh, this is clearly a, a fixed width kind of a data set, so I'll just click that, and then I'll click Finish. And there we are, it's been converted into cells. Um, but now we just want to take that bottom row of node IDs, cut it, and then insert it at the top, which is what UCINet expects. And now I'm ready to paste this into UCINet. So I could do Control A and then Control C to copy to the clipboard. I go to UCINet. I could put it either in the matrix editor or the DL editor. I'm going to use the DL editor today. And I'm going to press Control V to paste it in. I select the data format, which is matrix. And then I save it. And I will save this and I will call it Jessica. So it now shows it to me. It looks right. I see one's down the diagonal. Um, it's symmetric, so that all makes sense. Uh, I could open it in NetDraw. I'm going to press the QD button. I will open Jessica. And of course, these were actually some kind of correlation coefficients, some kind of association. So um, almost every node is connected to every other by at some level. But if we change our increment over at the far right here to 0.1, and then use the plus sign here that determines what pi strength will be converted into a line, we can begin to see some structure. Yeah, that looks interesting. Okay, so that was one way of getting the data in. Another approach, let me go back to the editor. Here's the text editor, would be to remove these first few lines. Delete. Let's take the last line, remove it. Insert it here. Okay. And uh, now I'm just going to save this. So I will save this. Oops. Um, I guess I meant to save it into a different file, but that's okay. I'll just remember that this is what it's called. So now I go into UCINet. And I go to data, import text file, and choose raw matrix. Since there's nothing in it but data, choose raw matrix text file reader. The input text file is that thing that I just saved. 
which was association matrix final dot text. And the first row consists of column labels. Um, the first item in each data row contains a row label. That looks good. I don't remember whether 109 is right, but let's give it a try and go. No, that didn't work. So let's see, where it's just zero numbers are found, whereas zero numbers were expected, that's not very helpful. Well, maybe we should skip that part of it. Well, unless there's something I could figure out. Let's see, let's try it one more time. I give up too soon. Well, matrix association, First row contains an extra heading. Okay, well, no, I don't think that's true. Field separators, that all makes sense. I wonder why it doesn't like this data file. I'll try again. Nope. Well, we're just going to have to stop there. So I had promised at the beginning that I would do um, two methods, but in fact, I'm only showing you one.